Hey, happy Worth It Wednesday. Every Wednesday we send a principle worth learning, a question worth answering, and a recommendation worth taking. Today's principle is that good people make hard things more bearable. And you're catching me at the end of today's uh, five at five run. So this is the sixth year where I've done five miles at 5 a.m. every day in January except Sunday. And it's just been an incredible challenge for me. Um, I think I do it because it sets the tone for the year. It's like you get to points in the year where you're, like you're in July and something hard comes up and you're like, well, this is nowhere near as hard as January. Uh, but then also I think it just builds character. It teaches lessons. I'm a big believer in the idea that when you go further than you knew you could go, you learn lessons you never even knew you could learn. And it was crazy. I've been doing five at five now for years and it's been good. It's been hard, but it's been good because hard things are often good. Um, but last year something happened kind of randomly. I didn't seek it out, but it just made it so much more meaningful, so much more fulfilling, so much more fun, so much more engaging. And as the principle states, so much easier, um, or no, not easier, so much more bearable. And that's important. Not easier. It hasn't gotten any easier, but it has gotten more bearable. Uh, so what happened? Well, <laughs> there were four people that reached out. Uh, it was Gideon, Kelly, Jackie, and Bryce, uh, that were just like, Hey, we're doing it too. And they didn't know each other. They didn't know each other were thinking this as well, but they were like, Hey, we're going to do this as well. And so we had this text group and every morning the rule was everyone had to be out the door or for some people on the treadmill by 5 AM. And, uh, it just became this incredible collaboration. Um, and, and like I said, it just made it more meaningful and we all learned something. And, and not only that, I found myself uh, needing to get out of bed earlier uh, to make sure I could easily get out the door by 5 a.m. because I was responsible to those people. And I think there's something to that when you're responsible to other people, it's amazing what you're capable of. And it's amazing what you'll push yourself to do uh, instead of just acting in isolation. And so this year, um, We've got 10 others doing it and it's such a cool crew. I just think the world of these people and today is halfway day. So I'm recording this on January 15th and, uh, we're halfway there and they're crushing it. And, and it's just so cool to see the dynamic in this group of how some of them have never run this far in their life and they're taking it on and they're approaching it with courage and with energy and with commitment and with resiliency. And man, we're halfway through. Some people are struggling right now. And I'll tell you, it, it has never gotten any easier for me, but it has gotten more bearable. And the thing that's made it more bearable is the addition of good people. And so what I would tell you is if you're doing something hard right now, get people involved. And not just any people, good people, people that you enjoy, people that inspire you, people that you like. Um, and if you're not doing something hard, find something hard to do and also find some people. Because man, it's so good. And then you can the one right now, it's like five, 540 right now and it's like, I'm just getting started. We're gonna crush this Saturday. I know it's Wednesday where you are, but I'm gonna crush Wednesday too, so it's gonna be great. Y'all, uh, we're rooting for you, we're praying for you. We wanna see you win. Remember, my strength is not for me. Your strength is not for you. Our strength is for service. Let's go, let's go, let's go.